Sometimes you have to tangle with the walkers up close and personal. Snarling teeth, clawing hands, awful breath and all of that. But if you can take them out with a nice clean shot from a distance, that's got to be a good call, right? Just like that. Well done, Andrea. Take that, you filthy zombie. The Thundersoul M95 is a new hunter weapon, and it's apocalyptic. It has a wider shot path, essentially feeling like it has large caliber by default. This rifle is also very keen to only ever reduce your problems and not add to them. To that end, the standard and charge attacks never increase the threat counter. It's that apocalyptic trait that really makes the Thundersoul stand out though. The chance of landing ineffectual body shots is decreased, and the greater the target's level is than that of your survivors, the greater the reduction. For every 5 levels the walker has on your hunter, the chance to land body shots is decreased by 3%, up to a maximum total of 20%. This is especially useful when you consider that non-body shot attacks from this weapon have a 60% chance to root the target. That percentage chance is influenced by luck, so it's handy that weapon has an inbuilt gold luck trait. That's alongside lethal, which increases the weapon's base damage by 10%, and piercing, which further reduces the chance that your attacks will result in body shots. The charge attack, soul power, is a guaranteed critical hit, with a guaranteed chance of rooting the target. Like all apocalyptic gear, the Thunder Soul is unlocked with apocalypse tokens. These are earned by participating in game modes like Last Stand and purchased through the black market and trade goods shops. The greatest apocalyptic token rewards can be found in the seasonal events. Outbreak Frontier will reward a total of 60 tokens if fully completed, and then there's the 7 day login events. Keep an eye out for when the tokens are available as rewards for that particular event, since it changes, well, every week. The Thunder Soul is perfect for some surprisingly silent rooting shooting, especially against targets of a significantly greater level than your survivors. If you're not one for getting your hands dirty with the up close and personal walker dispatching strategy, this is the perfect weapon to pin him in place and put him down for good. Call me Gabriel. 